Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read S3 3020, Louis and Clark. A Prairie Doll for the President by Shirley Ray Redmond. Summary of the story is it introduces Marietta Louis and William Clark during the exploration of the West, the Thomas Jefferson captured a prairie dog and sent it to the Preston as a gift. In 1803, Thomas Jefferson was the Preston of the United States. The country was still new. It was also very big. It was so big, no one had ever explored it all. President Jefferson wondered how long it would take to reach the Pacific Ocean. He wondered what the land was like along the way. President wrote to his friend Meriwether Lewis. Lewis was a soldier. He wanted to be an explorer. Lewis' buddy, William Clark, wanted to be an explorer too. Louis and Clark went to see the Preston. I need someone to explore the West, said the Preston. We'll do it, said Louis and Clark. The Preston told Louis and Clark to make maps and explore rivers. He told them to collect plants and draw wild animals. Most important, he told them to send pre presents. Louis and Clark needed helpers for their journey. They took soldiers, scouts, and boatmen. Louis even took his dog. It was a long trip. One of the scouts brought his wife, Sacagawea. Sacagawea was a big help. She picked nuts and berries. She cooked meat and stew. She talked and traded with the Indians they met on the way. Out west, Louis and Clark made maps. They explored rivers. They collected plants. They saw animals they had never seen before. They saw buffalo. They saw grizzly bears. They saw jack rabbits with long ears. They drew pictures of the animals. They tried to catch some of the animals to send to the Preston. But the buffalo were too big. The grizzly bears were too dangerous. The jack rabbits were too fast. The president will think we have forgotten him, they worried. One day, Louis and Clark came to Prairie. The ground was filled with holes. A little animal sat by each hole. What are those? asked Louis. Just then, a hawk flew overhead. The little animals barked. Then they dived into their hole. Let's catch one of those rascals, Clark said. They are small enough to send to the Preston. The soldiers took shovels and picks. They dug and dug, but the little animals were too fast. Let's flood them out, Les Louis said. The man carried water from the river. Louis poured the water into a hole. Clark and the soldiers waited beside the other holes. They waited and waited and waited. Then one of the animals popped up. I've got it, said Clark. Clark put the animal in a cage. I wonder what it is, he said. Louis laughed. It's a wet rodden. You can call it a ground rat. No, said Clark. It looks like a squirrel. I call it a, a barking squirrel. Squirrels don't bark, said the soldiers. A dog's bark. We should call it a prairie dog. That's it. Louis and Clark agreed. Louis and Clark picked the scout to take the prairie dog to the Preston. Clark also gave the scout some birds to take. They were called magpies. Louis gave the scout a letter for the Preston. He gave him plants that he had collected. The soldiers gave him buffalo skins and deer horns. Have a nice trip, said Louis and Clark. 
The scout and the animals rowed a barge down the river. They boarded a big ship in New Orleans. The ship sailed around Florida. Then it sailed north to Baltimore, Maryland. Finally, the ship landed in Baltimore. The scout put the animals and the other pre presents into the back of a wagon. He paid the driver to take everything to President Jefferson in Washington, D.C. The president met the wagon at the White House. He picked up the prairie dog's cage. Is this a gopher? He asked. No, said the driver. I think it is a woodchuck. President Jefferson read the letter from Lewis. A soldier named this creature a prairie dog. It lives on the western prairie and barks like a dog. The president gave the prairie dog a piece of apple. Chomp! The prairie dog gobbled it right up. The president laughed. Americans will want to see this little fellow, he said. I will send these fine presents to Mr. Pearl's museum. Mr. Pearl's museum was in Philadelphia. The prairie dog and the other gift rode in a stagecoach to the museum. It was a very bumpy ride. Mr. Pearl loved the present. He sent President Jefferson a thank you note. Prairie dog is a pleasing little animal. He's not at all dangerous like a groundhog, he wrote. Mr. Pearl put the cage in a sunny room. Children came to see the prairie dog. Artists came to draw its picture. The visitors touched the buffalo skins and the deer horns. They stared at the magpies. The American West must be a wonderful place, they said. The West was wonderful indeed. Louise and Clark were gone for two years exploring it. In November of 1805, they finally reached the Pacific Ocean. They were heroes. If you travel west today, you can still see some of the sights Louise and Clark saw. You can see grizzly bears and buffalo. You can see jackrabbits and magpies. And if you're lucky, you might even see a prairie dog. The end.